screen. <sighs> We're gonna start with a comfortable seat. I'm gonna sanitize my hands. I just washed my face. I have some fun things happening and I'm trying to just practice patience and be an adult and not pick at them because I this this situation right here really got away from me the other day. And I really went to town. That's besides the point. Hands are sanitized. I'm going to moisturize my face. I love this stuff. This is CeraVe moisturizing lotion. I love it because it's light. It doesn't leave me feeling like greasy and it's not really thick, you know? Mm-hmm. Face massage pressing it into the skin. I'm really excited to be filming this right now, which is through these videos that I fell in love with YouTube like forever ago, 10 years ago, for makeup videos. So I'm really excited to be filming this today. I'm gonna let this sit a minute or two. During that time, maybe I'll make good use of it and sit with my eyes closed and take a couple deep breaths. The makeup that I'm gonna be doing today is every day, easy breezy, it takes me like 10, 15 minutes. Might be a little bit longer because I'm talking. Excuse me, Lou. One of the cats is like pawing at the makeup drawer. Oh, it's because I just put hair ties in there. So he's trying to fish him out to play. I always wondered, I'm like, how are there always hair ties everywhere? I really thought it was just me, but he goes in the bin and pulls it out with his paw. What a little rattlin. Primer. The Makeup Forever Step One Skin Equalizer. Excuse me, Lucifer. I like this one because it's pore filling. Smooth it, smooth as, it smooths everything out quite nicely. Yeah, a little bit more focus. Where there's some blemishes and imperfections. It's just such a bummer when the breakouts are painful. Unexpectedly, this is the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For Mineral Matte Cream. Ugh. So it has an SPF in it. I love, love, love this stuff just because it fully looks like your skin, but better. Put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'll go in with a brush. I start with the places that need the most coverage. Excuse me, these cats are making so much noise in the background. Like, now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I'll take a little bit more. Lay C. Press, press, press. It's like the breakouts are one thing, but then when it's healing, and then you just end up with a red spot forever in a day. I'm like, hi, hello, you can just, you can go now, that's fine. And then I do very light coverage on my forehead, really, that's just to keep everything even, but I don't need to cover much up top. It's just to keep everything looking seamless. Yeah, today it's Tuesday. Right now I'm in between. I taught two classes already today. I have a couple hours at home right now. So I like to film on Tuesdays. And then I teach two more classes later this evening. It's not the most high coverage situation, but it does cover and you can layer well where it doesn't look cakey. I do appreciate that with a smaller brush so I can pack on a little more coverage on the breakouts that I want to fully conceal. And I'm still just... I'm so good. I caught it. And I'm gonna pack this on. I also like to use this guy for um, concealer. Blending away all my insecurities. I mean, what a blessing makeup is. I leave the house without makeup. It's not even that, but I mean, I'm just gonna be honest when I'm breaking out, I'm self-conscious. It's a real knock to the confidence. If you've never had acne and you don't suffer from breakouts, like you just don't even know. It's hard out here. And obviously things could be worse. Things could so much be worse. Like, oh. The concealer that I'm going to use today, it's by Wet n Wild. The color is Light Ivory. Photo Focus Wet n Wild Concealer. So this is an oldie, but a goodie. I'm not gonna go too heavy. I'm not gonna go too heavy. Inner corners, hit the brow bone. Go under the nose, go around the nose. Hit the chin one time, just a little bit on the forehead. And I'm just using the big brush for the center of my face around the nose and the forehead. Again, I'm pressing, pressing, pressing. I'm going to switch back to that smaller brush where I can really get in the eye. And I do really like to focus so quite a bit on the inner corner because I do hold my discoloration there, a little bit of blue, purpley, you know. I mean, already, right? All right? And then sometimes like I'm even just like, yeah, that's 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 as far as things are going today. And then I leave the house like this, like throw on some chapstick, maybe a Brow mascara? No. <laughs> An eyebrow gel chapstick and then I'm out the door. So now I'm gonna set everything because quite frankly, I'm oily. Let's keep that open. I'm oily and that's just the way, that's just the way. It's fine. 
that's just the way it is. So I'm using the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder in Clear, but it's a translucent powder. Using this big brush, tap off, and then again, I'm pressing in. I like to focus this specifically on like, right here, boop, boop, here, here. Hit my forehead, press down through the nose, and then through the chin. And then curl the lips in like a turtle. This is professional. Curl the lips in, press on that upper lip. I feel locked, probably hit a little bit on the jawline, just because I have the breakouts there and I'm not trying to have this foundation move as I move on through my day, you know what I mean? This has been such a good highlighter and it's from the drugstore, Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. The shade is 10 Be My Highlight. What it reminds me of is the Laura Mercier like matte highlight, which is a hilar hilarious name um, because I don't really understand how a highlight could be matte. We're here. Go on the cheekies, and then tap it off, go up through temple, and then all the way up, blending, 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 little circles, fast and furious. We've got things to do, vegetables to eat, girl. Hit the other cheekbone, go up above, and then we'll go on the nose, just like a little, right up the bridge ski. Cupid's bow, oh, that nose got away from me. Can you see that? <laughs> chinny chin and then i like to hit above the center of my eyebrow lift those puppies up and then right above did just set on my face but then i go in like relatively heavy with a highlighter to bring life and glow back to my face i'm using a tiny little detail brush dipping into the same highlight and i'm gonna go right under my brow bone not all the way from the inside, but just where my actual pupil begins. That's where my gauging point is, and then I carry it all the way out to the tail. I flip my brush to the side and kind of diffuse that downward. Same detail brush, tiny little thing, same highlight, then I go to the inner corner. I go quite heavy on the inner corner because it's probably one of my favorite parts of my makeup, and then I drag that in a skosh. I drag that on the lower lash line in a little bit, and then on the upper lid a little bit. Big fan, so Essence, I love that. Then I'm hitting bronzer, going in with Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. So if you watch any makeup videos, you know this one was like hot and heavy. Going in, buffing that. And I like to do highlight first because then I just feel like that meshes really well with my bronzer. Blush, hit the forehead, blend it in. Hit the nose, so that dims down my highlight a little bit. And then down the jawline, down my neck. Let's get a little bit of continuity, shall we? Right down to the peace sign necklace, onto the chest. Hit them ears. That same brush that I used my translucent powder, and I brush right in between my bronzer and my jawline. Anything that was relatively sloppy in a very easy way just takes it away. Now my blush, this is my favorite um, when it's like, ow, ow. <laughs> Peaches by MAC, another one. Look at all these three, I've hit big fan, I've hit pan on all of these. <laughs> so I like what I like, starting at the apples of my cheeks and then dragging up, dragging up. A little bit on the forehead, on the nose, on the chin. Oh, I'm just, this is like, I woke up like this, this is fine. Setting spray, hard candy, the matte sheer envy mattifying setting spray. Controls oil, minimizes pores, and 12 hour long wear and hydration. Big claims. Just give that up. Generous. Try not to make many facial expressions. Thanks Conrad for the fan. I use it every time I do my makeup. Just let that soak in. This is another one of my favorite moments when I'm doing my makeup. No, I feel like the queen. I feel like the queen that I really am when I'm doing this. Fetch me my fabulous everything, you know? The same translucent powder, just put it on a smaller portion of the brush. Again, here. That's because my pores are bigger there and I feel like the setting spray intensified that. We don't want to intensify that, we want to diminish. Huge fan of this, I'm so glad that e.l.f. started making this impressed as opposed to the loose. I still have like 80 bajillion of the loose ones but the packaging's so big and bulky. Brow gel, day to day, I just, I just honestly, I don't even bother filling in my brows even though they're so light. I just take a clear brow gel, I brush them up, 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 up. 
try to have some kind of union. And then once they're up, crazy ones, then I brush them down in line. NYX control freak. Brushing them up, brushing it through. So you know on those days, gotta get out the door, which you also can't just roll out of bed. It really just wakes your face up. I'm gonna put on some chapstick. It's nothing fancy on the chapstick from my forever favorite, the chapstick medicated one. Isn't there something therapeutic about putting chapstick on? Real talk, I could do that all day, just like sit there and go to town. Just saying. Do a little wash over my eyelids. Going in with the same bronzer, same blush. I dip back and forth between those two pans, tap off the excess, and then just wash over the whole eye. Whole eye. Brush back and forth, and then little circles through the crease. Cool, cool. Back and forth, windshield wiper motions, and then little circles. And then just with the bronzer, same brush, tap off the excess, I drag that right underneath, buff it into my lower lash line. I used to be a big one on the eyeliner, but life has changed. Things have changed. Buff it in, relax your mouth. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Do a double check, pull that mirror away. And it's nice to do a double check in this mirror, like, but look towards the natural light. Like this mirror right now, I should have that as over on this side. The Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. This has been a favorite of mine for a minute. So starting at the root of the lash, do a little wiggle and then slide up. I'm holding the mirror low, really get in there. Pull the mirror up and away. Isn't it crazy what a difference mascara makes? Trying to separate these outer lashes. Before I get carried away, cause I'm in a pretty good, like look at the difference, right? Come on mascara, come through. The passion, you know it's the little things. Hold on, reel it in, reel it in. Cause you're about to become a train wreck. Hold on. And make sure you look at your first eye to make sure that your lashes are kind of going in the same direction. Level up my first eye to match my second one. You know how it is out here. You know how it is out here. I skip bottom lashes almost always when it's like day to day quick. I just feel like my eyes look so much bigger when I don't have bottom lashes on. And I almost always, always, always get the mascara on my skin. And then that just becomes a whole other situation that I don't really have time for and that I don't want to deal with. Will the hand sanitizer get the mascara off? It in fact did. All right. How am I going here? You know what? I said this mirror should really be over here. Just switch the mirror. Oh yeah, that should have been there the whole time. My hair looks like a sad croissant. Yeah, I think we just are gonna hit a nice casual lip line and then we're good to go. <gasps> Or maybe a gloss. Another professional tip is just using the back of the hand to blot off the chapstick. We just wanna leave a little moisture. I'm gonna go in with this lip liner. It's just dull as could be. And I don't think I have a sharpener. I don't know where a sharpener is. I'm gonna go in with that same detailed brush, get off whatever shimmer was in there. This Stila convertible color. It's a dual lip and cheek cream in the color Peony. Pick up a little something and then go over. The croissant, the croissant. That's one of mine and Kevin's favorite words to say, croissant. But like you really gotta get throaty. It's very French. Are we doing too much? And then the hair is like stuck in the lashes. You know, it's just curly hair is so hard because it has a mind of its own. It just does. Well, we're just gonna do this today or whatever. Figure it out. <laughs> but there are days sometimes that I'm like, would I be better off just shaving the whole head right off? Would I? Maybe. Good measure, now that we're done. How, is this too senior photo right now? I love the lip color with like the blush, the bronzer. I know the lighting is a very real thing here, but even that aside, here's natural outdoor. The mug still looks good. In natural lighting, it still really, really looks good. I think it's just that foundation is, the foundation is really, really bomb. So if you've never tried it, I think they sell it at Sephora. Go in there, get a sample, do a little try. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Thursday. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. And I will see you all soon. Bye. I think we got it. I think the first makeup video on my channel is done. <laughs> Great, so good. And just the aftermath. That's minimal, like every day, like this ain't, this ain't shit.